Well, welcome to Lake Powell. We are just crossed the border a little bit ago in Arizona. Uh, I believe that is Paige behind us. And here is the dam across Lake Powell. And it's pretty cool. Uh, Glen Canyon's over there. And yeah, that's really, really cool place to be. So yeah, we parked just down there. Walking up here now. Yeah. It's, it's a gorgeous view. We can walk across the bridge out there. Look how far down that is. That is really cool. No drums. <laughs> Look at this, this is gorgeous. So, I don't know how much I'm going to get. Uh, get today. We are going to Antelope Canyon. That's our goal. Upper Antelope Canyon. Antelope. Sorry. And yeah, uh, our things at 1:30. There is a big chance of flash flooding, and we're going in slot canyon. Oh wow. Yeah, so we're going into a slot and then uh, when there's a chance of flooding. 40% chance of flash flood pretty much in this area. So not the smartest thing in the world, but whatever. really love it here, I guess. I don't know. So there's the center, visitor center for, I think, Glen Canyon. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. There was a couple miles up in the car driving here. There was a uh, they call it Rim Rocks. It's part of the national, the, ah, uh, let me think about this, uh, Staircase, National Staircase, or, it's the, yeah, Staircase Escalante National Monument, I believe, probably for name, but, yeah, that is what we passed up there, it's very beautiful. There's like a, almost like a painted cliffs. It was just gorgeous. I took a couple pictures and I will have the pictures uploaded in a different video on the in this trip. Not very gorgeous, but these are just going to keep getting better. All right, see you guys in page. Well, we got to Lake Powell, had a little bit of time, we didn't know what time the, uh, was actually local, because there's two different time zones down here, so literally, Paige is just over there, it's a different time zone than where we are right now, even though we're still in the same state, uh, but yeah, our, uh, tour, was canceled because the canyon flooded earlier and yeah they don't want to risk it at all so they canceled every other one uh we're trying to find out what to do but let me show you what i found down here check this out it's 
See that little guy? I believe that is a yellow spiny tailed lizard. Really cool. So yeah, Lake Powell is right down there. That ramp's closed, so we have to do something else. So. Yeah, we're see where we go then. Right. See you guys. Oh, I think I got out of the music range. So yeah, um, we're <laughs> what you're looking at is the floor on the deck of like pow basically. So yeah, so we're basically on the floating bar or whatever. So, I just showed you something, else. but basically, this is like POW now. Um, well, let me just go show you guys this. So, these are the fountains, and if you're wondering what that is, that's uh, the ramp down to the water. And you may ask, why is this so high up? Well, that's basically how low the water is. Yeah, the water's about 10 feet lower than where it should be. And this is a gigantic lake, second biggest reservoir in the country behind Lake Mead. And um, we're at 35, 4, 35, 23, I believe, 100 feet water depth, which you're probably like, that's not that bad at all, but normally it's, oh, I have no clue, um, yeah, I'm much higher, but it's so low that the energy, they use the water from Lake Powell for, for energy, and if it drops just like I think it's literally 35 feet more. Literally 35 feet out of this thousand acre or hundred million acre, I think, lake. Um, then they can't use any more energy. So yeah, way out there, those rocks way up there where they're where it's darker, that's where the water should be. But as you see, we're not even close to it. So, yeah, we have a boat tour going on at 2.30. Times change, it's just so weird down here. But yeah, it's a gorgeous lake, but it is drying up very, very fast. Yeah, um, not very good at all. We kind of have like a little storm coming in. Like that. So yeah, this thing kind of works. See you guys.
Where is Horseshoe Bend? I blown. But down there, there's a little thing that goes across the road. Pretty cool place. I get this around here before my phone dies. Top this mountain there you walk to, and we just made it up this way. So yeah, hey y'all. That is gorgeous. All right, I don't really have a lot of battery left, and there's a storm coming in, so I'm going to explore a little bit more. See if I find any lizards or any snakes. I'll take it. And then go back, I guess. All right, see you guys. All right, and so we are leaving Horseshoe Bend way down there. Or actually down there, but yeah. So tons of lizards in the area. Yeah, it's really cool. So... If you're going to Page, Arizona, I definitely recommend doing that. Uh, it costs $10 to get in. Not too bad. You also can't use your National Parks service, even though it's technically considered the West. Actually, the East End. Sorry. Of the Grand Canyon? Yeah, East End of the Grand Canyon. No, West, West. It's one in the Grand Canyon. I actually think it's West, but yeah. We have long day. And I am beyond tired, very sweaty. We are going to head back to Canaan now. Get something to eat, and then I go back to condo. So I will let you guys know what we got. So there's also a pee for page over there. Right here, out here. And some storms out in the distance. Not too bad. Yeah. But yeah, see you guys uh, probably at the restaurant. Yeah.